Namaste Mitron. Welcome uh, back to Movie Community College. Marinam Tishhe. Go ahead. Kushi we. Kushi we, not way. Right. I've been saying way, not we. Right. Aridos. Aridos. And um, some people prefer when I say warrior queen in English, and others prefer when I say Yodha Rani. Um, they both mean the same thing, so I'll switch it up. This yeah. video is all about you. It's all about me. So you, you take your time I to almost tell your need, story. I almost need a crown. Okay. Yeah, okay. or a tiara, because it's all about I, me. Uh, I'll see if I can get one. Okay, that would be cool. Um, so anyhow, today is May 8th, and my story goes back to May 3rd, uh, so last Friday, basically. I um, had just gotten back from the grocery store, and I was putting groceries away, and I was also um, doing some cleaning around the house, and I thought, I'm going to uh, put Fox News on because I like to watch Fox News. And I thought, even though I won't be able to watch it necessarily while I'm doing the things I need to do around the house, I can have it on and I can be listening. And the particular show that was on is Special Report with Brett Baer. Now, I like that because um, Brett Baer is an actual news anchor. So while many of the programs on Fox News are commentary and opinion, uh, Brett Baer is an actual news anchor. So this is not his opinion. He is basically reporting the stories of the day, and then periodically he interviews people. So as I'm, you know, puttering around the house and, you know, doing some cleaning and uh, getting dinner planned and putting groceries away, I hear him say after the commercial break, well, it wasn't Brett, actually. It was somebody filling in for him. It was Chris Wallace. Chris Wallace says, after the commercial break, we are going to bring to you an interview that Brett Baer did with India's ambassador to the United States. And I was like, whoa, hold on a second. So um, I put away all the groceries that were cold that could spoil. I put those away really fast. And then I went and sat in front of the TV because I wanted to watch this interview. So I watched it and I was like, that's awesome because um, a lot of times on American media, there's not a whole lot of coverage of India unless there's something tragic that happens or if there's like a, a big, you know, uh, trade deal or something that they're doing with the United States. Otherwise, there's not a whole lot about India in our media. So um, I wanted to see this interview and it was only about six minutes long. Um, but Brett Baer asked him questions about India's economy and India's elections, um, the Kashmir issue, uh, talked about how India, you know, takes the fight to the bad guys and, you know, deals with them all the time. Uh, and it was just a really good, solid interview. It was informative. And as somebody who, uh, you know, pays attention to India, I really appreciated it. So I did what I do when I see something like that that I really appreciate. I went on Twitter and I tweeted about it. And I just mentioned that it was a good interview and mentioned some of the topics that were discussed. And I thanked Brett Baer. Well, the next thing I know, um, my Twitter is blowing up with likes and comments and retweets about that particular tweet. Now, Jeremy's already mentioned to you that... Um, Ambassador Shringla retweeted my tweet. Well, Sunday morning, before we're getting ready for church, I decided to pop open my Twitter. Probably a bad idea to look at Twitter before you go to church because it could really put you in a bad mood sometimes because Twitter can be a dumpster fire. But Sunday morning when I opened Twitter, it was all good news because not only were there more comments and likes and retweets, but Ambassador Shringla followed me on Twitter. So I did what anybody else would do. I followed him back. <laughs> I was super excited. And Jeremy and I had been talking about something. And um, I said, Jeremy. And he was in the other room. And he said, what? He could tell by the tone of my voice. I was excited. I said, remember that tweet that I sent out on Friday about Brett Baer's interview with the Indian ambassador to the United States? And he said, yeah. And 
I said, and remember you did the video about it? And he said, yeah. And I said, well, he just followed me on Twitter. And so it wasn't just that he retweeted me, but then, um, so he retweeted me from his personal account, but then the official Indian embassy account also retweeted me and then he followed me. I was like, wow, first big B, now the Indian ambassador to the United States. How cool is that? So I wanted to share that with all of our friends. Yeah. Because I figured cool. you would enjoy that story. Very cool. Yeah. Somebody said in the comments, this is turning into the Modi channel. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe it's just India. Yes. We talk about India. Yes. That's yes. what we do here. So. Well, uh, thank you so much for sharing that story with us. You're welcome. And to our friends, we're trying to get to 200,000. Mm hmm. And, we're uh, inching our way we're there. We're inching our way, and we're getting close to 160. Yes. Let's do this in baby steps. Can you help us get to 160, please? And then 165, and then 170. Oh, hold on. You, you're going to ruin it. We'll go in increments of five. Don't, you don't tell them that part. You tell them later. Oh, come on. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye. El... Alvida. 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 That's what I said. Almost. Alvida. 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 Bye. Bye. It's uh Oh my god, it's only got one. <laughs>